My name is Dr. Njogo Maina. I'm a consultant physician and a nephrologist. I'm the head of kidney or the nephrology department at KUTRH, that is a Kenyatta University Teaching Referral and Research Hospital. A nephrologist, also known as kidney specialist, they are the doctors and the specialists who look at the diseases, ailments, and conditions that affect the kidney and the urinary system. They deal with the diagnosis of kidney diseases. They deal with the treatment and management of kidney uh, conditions. And they also deal with follow-up of people who have kidney uh, illnesses. The World Kidney Day is a very unique day in the life of uh, people who have kidney diseases and healthcare workers who uh, serve uh, and take care of people with kidney diseases and their families. World Kidney Day is marked on every second Thursday uh, of March and in this year it will be 9th uh, of March and as you have highlighted the theme for this year is preparing for the unexpected and uh, taking care of the vulnerable. Um, uh, some of the, the people who are vulnerable are people who are living with kidney uh, diseases. They are people who are on maintenance uh, dialysis. They are people who are pregnant, uh, even children uh, who are under five years, and even people who have uh, undergone kidney transplantation. In the world of kidney medicine, we consider all that group of people as vulnerable. Uh, some of the unexpected things um, we are looking into these could be global things like wars, uh, floods, earthquakes, uh, or even things that have happened uh, globally, uh, like uh, <clears throat> epidemics like COVID-19. Uh, those are unexpected uh, things that can affect the group of people um, that I have said there. To give an example is that during the COVID-19 pandemic, we noticed that um, some uh, because of the number of people who are sick, uh, service delivery was interrupted. This affected maybe the clinics of people who are going to the hospitals because of kidney clinics. Uh, people who are on dialysis were also affected. People also who have undergone transplantation were affected because many of their clinics care medications were affected. So this year we want to highlight that um, we need to be more prepared as a world, as a society, as a community, uh, that uh, when such things happen, we need to remember there are people who are vulnerable and we need to ensure their care is continued in a safe and a timely manner. Uh, women are a, a vulnerable group, uh, especially during pregnancy, uh, because uh, uh, in pregnancy, women can develop a condition that is called preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a condition that is characterized by a rise in blood pressure, swelling of the feet and the face, and also leakage of protein in the urine. So uh, preeclampsia is a condition in pregnancy where organs can be affected and some of the organs that can be affected include uh, the kidneys, um, the liver and also the brain. So if the preeclampsia affects the brain, we lead to a condition called eclampsia which is ca characterized by conversions. Normally, um, there is minimal amount of protein that can be found in the urine. But when somebody has a sickness, it affects the function and the structure of the kidney so that more protein is lost in the kidney because of the kidney disease that has affected 
um, the, the organ as a whole. So the presence of the protein is an indicator that the kidney uh, problem is serious and if that loss of protein is not arrested it's likely going to proceed it's going to change the kidney from uh, a short-term illness to a long-term illness which we describe in other words chronic kidney disease